Or you can start. Should I? Ch okay. Okay, so we're recording. Um, and uh, our uh, goal is uh, to uh, uh, get you onboarded uh, uh, onto uh, with an Ethereum account uh, so that um, you can uh, earn and give project tokens and uh, cryptocurrency to uh, uh, exchange cryptocurrency with people in the new economy. Uh, where we print our own money. <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, why don't you uh, uh, bring up your browser and share your screen, and let's see what you've got. And uh, uh, that looks like Firefox. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Internet Explorer is not recommended. Um, uh, okay, so uh, uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of searching here. Um, you have uh, a gear on the top row all the way to the right. Okay. That? And, and let me see what that does. What kind of machine do you run? Are you running on? A Dell. What? Dell. A Dell uh, computer. Oh, a Dell computer. It's so it's a Windows machine. I or yeah. Windows. Okay, so yes. uh, choose uh, manage add-ons, and what we're going to do is we're going to add the MetaMask add-on to your browser. Okay. And that's sort of like the easiest way to uh, 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 to uh, uh, to uh, use Ethereum tokens on uh, the uh, decentralized applications that are on the web. Um, the, it uh, integrates with your browser to, so that you keep your private key information on your machine in your browser. And that way, a remote service never gets to see your private key. And so your your cryptocurrency and you know your tokens are secure because nobody else knows your private key and it never goes off your machine uh so let's see we want to find add-ons find uh, more toolbars extension i guess that's we have to hit that button okay we have a bunch of extensions here but i can see you don't have metamask so uh, at the bottom, click Find More Toolbars and Extensions. Yeah, double clicking is not a good idea. I mean, sometimes you click once. If you move the mouse a little bit, it doesn't work. Just click it once more and try not to move the mouse. <laughs> okay, I'm going to X out of those other ones because I did that before. Okay. Is that good? That's good. Okay, so um, add-ons. Uh, scroll down. We want to get to plugins or whatever. Uh, Bing, eBay, Google. Oh, th those are searches. I see. Okay, so uh, go back up, and I think you can click on the Google search to find it. I haven't used, it's totally different. And I mean, uh, oh, oh, no, that's not what we wanted. Hit the back, hit the back key. Uh, where's this, oh, hit this. Um,
We're in the Internet Explorer gallery. Okay, so we're definitely in the wrong place. <laughs> okay, so kill this. <laughs> okay, it, it looks kill like it, it looked like it, just exit this right. And um, uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I should get it. Let me pause this a second. Uh, click the at the bottom of your screen. Click Firefox. I missed the call anyway. Um, I don't see it right now. Oh, yeah, that's it. Firefox. Where? Your cursor's right on it. That's the Firefox symbol. Oh, over here, up there. You mean no, no, here. it's up. Oh, oh right. okay. You're click in Firefox to... already. Okay. Now click the hamburger menu all the way to the right. Hamburger, right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The now click add-ons. <laughs> Okay, where I get add-ons, personalize your Firefox. Okay, uh, this looks just like Internet Explorer nowadays. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, so uh, uh, scroll, uh, scroll down. You may have to hit find more add-ons there. Just want to see what. Firefox options, maybe? Uh, Hit extension. Uh, Find more add-ons. This one. Yeah, I uh, I, I guess so. Um, I should uh, I should be going through this and be one step ahead of you, so I can tell you where to go. Uh, uh, and then in the top right, it says find add-ons. Type in MetaMask. M E T A M A S K. Oh, mask. Okay. M A S K. Okay, click on that. Okay, then you hit add to Firefox. I'm going to mute myself because my son is in the background. Add to, yeah. Should I click where it says, okay, got it? Over here? Um, uh, you might want to check allow this extension to run in private windows. Um, no, I don't know. I guess I'll check that for now. You may be using private windows because you want pri you, you don't. So, so uncheck it. Okay, there's two, two cases there. You may want it to run because you want to do private stuff with MetaMask. <laughs> or you may not, you may be running a private window because you don't want to expose any of yourself to the private window. <laughs> uh, so, okay, got it. Okay, so now you have a little MetaMask box next to your hamburger menu up there. So you can click on that. Okay. Oh, look at that. Get started. Um, yep, get started. Sounds good to me. Uh, create yeah. a wallet. Yes, create a wallet. Uh, yep. Help us improve. I'm going to say no thanks. 
or I agree? Oh, I usually say okay. I mean, you know, the, the, that uh, uh, just uh, uh, send statistics to MetaMask on your use. So if you want real privacy, say no. But if you want to help them develop, say yes. <laughs> I already said yes. <laughs> <laughs> can I have uh, can have any characters I want, right? Yeah. And you should choose a pretty secure password here. Um, initially, it doesn't matter, but eventually. Your tokens may be worth a lot of money, <laughs> and if somebody uh, has has access, you know, gets access to your computer, you don't want them to steal all your money. Got it. Now you said before that it stays on my machine. What happens when this computer dies? It's a pretty old computer. Okay, well we'll get to that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, you probably, you probably, you probably, normally you don't, you would say don't say for this because here again, you don't want other people doing it. But for now, you could say save uh, if you're pretty sure that nobody else is going to be able to access your computer and you don't have a lot of money <laughs> in your uh, uh, Ethereum accounts. Yet. Yet. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah. you um, it's going to, uh, uh, don't click there yet. It's going to say click here to reveal the secret words. Okay. Right. So uh, stop sharing, sharing your screen. Stop share. Okay. Okay. Now, cl now click. Now click uh, to reveal your words. And then copy and paste those words someplace safe. And maybe take a picture of them with your camera. Okay. That's what I'm yes, yes, yes. Okay, now that you know that depends on the security of your camera. You have to be careful that they get that too. Uh, hopefully they don't know what it's for. And hopefully right. you remember what it's for. <laughs> Print it and put it somewhere else. So now I don't need this right now, right? I can X out of it. I can go. No, next. no, you, no. You should. You need to save those right now, somewhere. You, even if you put them in a notepad or uh, anywhere. Okay, this is your security. And really, it should be kept off your computer. You know, print out the notepad and put it in your safe. Okay, I got it. Or just print no. the page. You can just print the page. Is it? That is, yes, that's what I'm going to do. But I don't, but I don't. I don't need them right now. I have them copied and they're okay. safe. Can I, I can hit next and go back to sharing with you or what? Yes. Uh, yes. So let me hit next. Oh, no, they want me to confirm it. <laughs> Please oh, yeah. select. Now it says, I'll just read it to you. Please select each phrase in order to make sure it is correct. So let me get my words. I am clicking them. It's going to just take a minute. It wants to make sure that you're not going to lose it. Because people have lost a lot of money. And there's no way to get it back. There's no bank on the, you know, <laughs> it's uh, self sovereign money. Uh, the blockchain replaces the blank, the bank. 
Okay. So now confirm. Congratulations, I passed the test. Share share your screen. Share my screen. How do I get back? I just have to get back to Zoom. Okay. See, all this stuff is becoming easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Zoom, I'm getting good with. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to click all done. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Sweet. This no is money in there. <laughs> no, no money. Shame, shame, shame. Okay, uh, click button, click details, I guess. See if you can change the name of, uh, I guess account one is a fine name, uh, right? It's, uh, you only have one account. Okay, so this is, this is uh, your QR code. Okay, um, you can, uh, you don't have to do it now. You might want to print that. That's like a paper wallet. Okay. Just took a picture of it with my phone, and I'm okay. going to print. So, 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 well, if somebody wants to send you money, you just show them that picture on your phone. They scan it, and they can send you money. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what? There's your Ethernet address: zero x eight c two five. Click uh -huh. on that. Click on that. Copy that. Just click on it, it should light up. Oops. Yeah, it's better to just click once and it lights the whole thing up and that way you don't miss anything, but that's fine. I think you got the whole thing. And copy, right click copy or control C. Okay. Okay, now you see that export private key button? Yes. Okay, don't hit it. Oh, it won't do it right away anyway, but the private key is the real secret. And that's uh, something um, you might also want to keep with your valuable papers. So that's different than, oh, that's the account number? And that's different than the private key? Um, yeah, the private key is what is what internally protects the account. Uh, you might need that if you want to put this account on a, in some other wallet. Okay. okay, right now you don't need it. Okay, and the thing that I copied and highlighted, that's just my account number? Correct. Okay, okay now we get... Um, um, you want to, uh, if possible, you want to go back to the, uh, to the uh, Collab Bounty Payoff Rewards Decision Maker making Matrix. Okay, so, uh -huh. so, uh, 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 so, uh, would, uh, I guess uh, open another tab. Okay, but wait a minute. Where, where it says export private key, what would that button be for? That's if you want to put this, put this account into another wallet. Okay, uh, like you want to send it to your phone or something. Or do you I want to do that? Not now. I mean, you only need one wallet right now. <laughs> and this is it, the MetaMask wallet. Okay. So I'm going to so, leave that alone. Right. In other words, your account is your property anywhere, on any machine, okay, anywhere. But in order to use your account, you have to have the private key. What the key, the key phrase will allow you to recreate the account, but um, so will the private key, actually. 
because private keys are so dangerous they um, to you know to be exposed um, I, I guess they uh, uh, they use the uh, keywords instead um, oh so the the words that I have are like equivalent to the private key right okay and I got the words okay so now what should I do should I X should I X this um, uh, well you can uh, what we want to do is open open the uh, bounty rewards document and uh, um, I can uh, put the link in the uh, chat here well that's not the link to it I just pasted in you're welcome in Chinese uh, <laughs> why doesn't it copy I don't understand oh this is art oh I keep hitting paste instead of copy or something I don't know somehow you're not asking me for computer help, are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the there's the URL in the chat for the uh, collab by bounty payoff rewards decision maker matrix. Okay, so scroll down to, didn't you just put your name in there? I could have sworn you put your name in there. Oh, we, we're looking at May again, sorry. Click on June. I don't know why it keeps going back to, to May. There I am. Here I am, right here. Okay, so in the ETH address, so click on your ETH address field, field uh, B, column B. And paste paste in that paste in your uh, that uh, ETH address. I did. Enter. Yeah. Hit enter. Yep. You hit enter. Okay. Um, I did. Now you did. Um, okay, so now that's in there. So that means you're going to get paid at the end of June. Uh, and that number there, 179, will change all month as people work on the sheet. Um, and uh, 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 and since you're helping with me with marketing right now in the marketing column, put five percent. For yourself. God, I, I feel guilty. <laughs> Marketing. You have to set a good example for the kids <laughs> by doing this. <laughs> five. Just put a five there, right? Enter, yeah. Okay, and you didn't get anything. So let's put go up to the uh, Go up to the top of the marketing column, the green, and put in a $500 budget there. Okay, so now you got 211 rocks <laughs> coming to you. <laughs> now, is rocks your personal name for it, or everybody calls it rocks? That's really what it's called. That's really what it's called. Um, okay. R-H-O-C. Ah, thank you. R H O is rho for the rho calculus, and the C is uh -huh. for calculus. <laughs> okay. Rho calculus. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, share here, so we can see. How I should this stop works. there, right? That's okay. I stole it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I go down to Stacy here. And uh, 
I uh, uh, I probably should have, you probably should have, should have let you show one thing first, but oh well. So I just click on the cell and then I do Control C. And that should copy it. And now I click on my MetaMask here. Okay, and I see I'm in the BYOID account. That's an account that has some Ethereum, some Rock. OMG, this this is a you know a, a drop a uh, what they call an airdrop. They do put an airdrop. And then uh, this LPT, I think that's an airdrop too. I don't know where we got that, but that's worth eleven dollars. And they just gave it. Somebody just gave us that. <laughs> you know, they gave it to random accounts or every account on the Ethernet on on the internet. And they just gave it away, and people traded it, and it got a value. Wow. Which looks pretty good. It's like five dollars a piece. I got two two point one eight zero LPT, which I could look up, but I don't really care. I don't so know. So does, does that mean I could open up the screen one day and see that a company just gave me money to use? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and 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 if you if you if you advertise your uh, uh, one guy in the early days of Bitcoin stood up in the stadium. And held up this QR code bit that was big, and they zoomed in on it, and I and he people sent him thousands of dollars in Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my goodness! Because it was on T, his QR code was on TV. <laughs> they just thought it was so cool. They sent him money. <laughs> they sent him Bitcoin. <laughs> wow. Um. So. Um, uh, oh yeah, this account has a million decentralized identifiers. Because this is for the for our bring your own identity project, and we're going to award BYOID tokens to people for cooperating on identity um, in their webs of trust. Um, okay, but that's not the account I want to use here. Um, um, the R chain activist account is where we pay, is where you're going to get paid at. But I'm going to go to my primary account, and here I have all kinds of tokens. Um, but uh, uh, that's not really not what I wanted to say. Show ooh, uh, and this is the QR code. So anybody who's watching this video, send me money. <laughs> Okay, I clicked on the details for the account. But what I'm going to do uh, is, uh, what I want to do is, uh, oh, I had hit the hamburger menu, which gave me all the token, kinds of tokens I had. But regularly, we just get the send and deposit here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some ETH. Okay. Uh, uh, to the account, and I'm going to paste in your account here. Okay, and I'm going to send you uh, 0.1 ETH, which is about 25 bucks. Wow. Okay, and you don't need that much ETH, but you need some ETH in order to do transactions. Every time you do a transaction, it uses a few cents. To do the transaction, you basically have to pay pay the the, the mine the people who are running nodes of Ethereum, you know, to cover the cost of them. This is you know, there's thousands of machines running nodes, and they you know they each get some reward so that the, the Ethereum network always runs, and there's no company or organization or government that can control it or run it. So that point one that you just put into my account that came from the collab bounty payoff rewards no, that came, decision. That, that came from me personally. This is from my primary account. Okay. 
Okay, and uh, uh, I can see that it's pending here. Okay. Okay, and so you won't see it um, yet. Uh, uh, but you can share your screen again. And click on your MetaMask top right, the, the fox. Okay. Oh, you got it. <laughs> 24 US dollars. <laughs> You're rich. Okay. Uh, that's good. You got it. Um, uh, so uh, if you, let's see. Uh, so if you click the three dots next to account one, Um, you can hit view on ether scan. Okay. And, uh, you can see that you had a transaction one minute ago. <laughs> Uh, okay, if you click on that uh, page somewhere, the MetaMask should close. Okay, and you can see that the value is one Ether. And this will show, this is on a public ledger. Everyone can see that this account sent or received Ether or which is like the money of Ether, of uh, Ethereum uh, and tokens um, and such. How uh, many different kinds of tokens are there? Thousands. Okay. I could, okay, so uh, uh, now uh, I'm gonna take the screen share back again. And uh, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, go in here and, uh, oh dear, oh dear. What? I don't like oh dear. I don't see a JWTs here. Don't see your tokens. Add token, search tokens, JWT. Uh, my token isn't listed, my JWT token isn't listed here. Um, that's okay, I'll send you something else. What does JWT stand for? A Jim White Trevor token. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not too well known. <laughs> you could be one of the special privileged people that owns some. <laughs> They're very rare. <laughs> uh, but I have to add them to my MetaMask. Uh, my MetaMask doesn't know about them because I haven't registered the token, I guess, on Etherscan or wherever I should have. It is registered on Parity, but not here. Um, is what? Uh, Parity is an Ethereum, um, uh, uh, an Ethereum uh, implementation, and a group of people. Gavin Wood is one of the original Ethereum developers who kind of made his own company, and uh, uh, they have their own products, and. Uh, you know, they just, they just come out with the substrate blockchain, which is really cool. And we're hoping to put Rolang on it, which is the art chain. Okay. Uh, real calculus language. Um, so uh, uh, what am I going to do? What do I send you? I just want to show you. I feel like I'm going away with a goodie bag. 
Yeah. <laughs> a virtual goodie bag. Uh, now I'm clicking on here on MetaMask here, and my machine is kind of slowing down. So let's see. Uh, we can. Uh, I'll send you some rocks. Okay, and uh, the reason I'm not sending out of, out of the Colab account is because uh, that's everything paid out of there is pay, paid by consent. We need a consensus in order to pay out of that account. So you'll be able to get reimbursed, though. Not a, not exactly, but you know I'm not sending you much. Um, most of the uh, actually, I've actually donated uh, most of the uh, funds in that, that account anyway. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to send some rocks, and I'm going to paste in your address again, and I'm going to send you a hundred rocks. Next, confirm. Okay, so I now you can see here I sent tokens and it's pending. Eventually, they'll show up on your on your uh, in your wallet. Um, and uh, let's see the uh, 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 so a hundred rock. Okay. Uh, the beginning of last year, that would have been worth $240. Wow. Uh, today, uh, it's worth about maybe $4 or $5 or whatever. And that's because? That's because of the market. The free market. Okay. Uh, if we look up... Rock price. Uh, uh, it's worth almost seven cents today. So that's like seven, uh, sixty, uh, six dollars and seventy. Your hundred rocks is worth six, six dollars and seventy-seven cents. Each, you understand? Each rock is worth six point seven seven cents. Yes. Or point oh six seven seven dollars. Yes, I understand. Okay. And uh, we're not going to get into buying and selling today. We're into give. What we're into is giving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into receiving. <laughs> we, yeah. We. Uh, the uh, the gifting economy is uh, is part of my dream. Uh, you know, and in a sense, this is this uh, uh, collab uh, uh, spreadsheet is part of it. You you know, we gift to the people that have helped the collab. For the last month, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there's no contracts, there's no <laughs> employment. We pay ourselves. <laughs> uh, it's uh, the uh, uh, a, a glimpse of the utopia that uh, uh, that someday will emerge on planet Earth, if it survives. <laughs> Look, being part of that, that's the gift <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean, you can share your screen again. And uh, 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 and if you reload, 
reload this page. You should see. It should update. I don't know why I didn't update. Uh, it doesn't. It only shows the one transaction. Did I screw up? Did I thought I, I got a notification. Oh, it, it's still it's still loading. Interesting. There's one transaction. Hit, hit, oh, I know why. <laughs> transaction wasn't sent to your account. It was sent to the token contract. You have to click the second thing there, ERC20 token transactions. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You went too quick for me. Where am I? Click, where am I going? Okay, currently we're looking at transactions at the bottom. See that? Says transactions in the in the no, box in the box at, in the bottom box it says transactions and there's one transaction in that box. Oh, the TXN hash is that is that transactions? Yeah, yeah no, above okay. that it, above, above that it says transactions. Okay, next okay, to that it. it says ERC twenty token transactions. Yes. Click that. Click. Yeah. Okay, and here we see that you received 100 rock five minutes ago. Can I press this dot to get it off? You press what? Can I press this where it says got it so it'll go away? Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's the GRBPC regulation on cookie use. Okay, so uh, if you click on your MetaMask Fox again, top right. Okay, we can see your account here. Okay, anybody in the world can see it on Etherscan. Like you're, you know, you, you can see it in your wallet here. Okay, and if you click the uh, hamburger menu, Oops. Oops. Okay. Oh, go back and yeah. Okay, and yeah, that one. Okay, uh, you can see it says loading tokens. And there's your hundred yeah. rock. <laughs> okay, so if you wanted to uh, uh, send rocks to somebody, you would click on rock. Click on here, you mean? Yeah. Click on. No, no. Click on. Click on the rock. Okay, and now you would hit the send button. Okay, and then uh, you would uh, find uh, find the account number on the on on the on somewhere. Either they send it to you or you. You got their QR code or whatever, scan their Q card. If you go go back to the collab, uh, the, uh, the collab tab, uh, which is uh, the, the the spreadsheet, the next tab, you can kill the Ethereum tab. Okay. You got me here, right? Yeah. Okay. You scroll up on there. Uh, who do you know on there that has an Ethereum address? Scroll up a little more. You see, you see Steve Henley. Oh, I didn't I don't, you're not here. That's true. <laughs> I'm not there. And I don't know anybody. <laughs> you don't know anybody. I'm trying to think who. Who you might know? Uh, maybe you don't know anybody. Um, that's true. Did I know him? There's a yeah. It looks like there's nobody from Dig Life on here. <laughs> uh, oh. except, except Gary. 
uh, Gary Coulter Sunday Live. You know Gary? No. Uh, but whoever you find. <laughs> yeah, well, just click, uh, copy Gary's address and send him 10 rocks. <laughs> copy his address. Why isn't it highlighting? Don't worry about highlighting. Just right click. Oh, right click. Okay. Copy. Okay. okay. Go back to my, to this thing. Yeah. You probably, you probably got to select the, the hamburger menu again and rock again. Send again. Let me get our pictures out of the way. Send. And then uh, click on the two and paste it in. Okay, and then in the amount, put 10. Why is that hi highlighted up there? This? I don't know. Yeah. Part of the, uh, yeah. 10, right? Now go next. Now go next. Click next. Yeah. That's the giving spirit. <laughs> <laughs> and then I gave him 13 cents. Oh, I only gave him, I only gave him 13 cents. Right. <laughs> I can hit confirm. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, the, the price they have is different. Okay. The price we just saw on client market cap was 6.7 cents. So the price they have here, is a different price right so 10 rock would have been worth 67 cents according to mark coin market cap okay but uh it may be that on some exchanges <coughs> you can buy them for that for uh, <coughs> uh you know for uh, oh i'm sorry that's the fee there's a fee is 13 cents. You're paying 13 oh. cents to send it. Okay. Okay, now if you hit edit, you can pay less fee if you're not in a hurry. And we're not in a hurry. We don't want to waste 13 cents. <laughs> if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we can hit slow. And that'll take like 10 minutes. Oh, so it depends on how fast you want it. Right. You, you can, you, the, you can, you, you volunteer to, in essence, volunteer to pay whatever you want to pay, but the miners want to make the most money. So they're going to mine the transactions that have the highest fees. <laughs> oh, if you hit save now, it's going to remember that. Uh, I, it's not clear you always want to do that, but now you can see it only costs us a penny. Now, can I press confirm? Yep. So we, you know, we saved a lot on, saved a lot on fees here. You said Gary won't. 12 cents. 12 yeah. cents. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now it still says a hundred rock which is a little bit surprising. It certainly should show 90 rocks at this point. Is it saying, well, is it saying pending? Okay. Probably after it's not after, pending anymore? Yeah, right. You, yeah, because, uh, yeah, if it, when it's pending, it hasn't been even accepted on the chain yet. And, until it's confirmed, you don't know that you've actually spent the 10 rocks. See, if we would have spent the extra 12 cents in commission, it would probably be less now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it could take a long time to show your correct balance now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, 
I'll have to tell Gary, you know, he's the benefactor. <laughs> I mean, so, you know, pe you know, people people that expect Rock is going to be, you know, worth a dollar by the end of the year, you know, they think 10 Rock is, is not a bad gift. I don't think so. It works for you. <laughs> yeah. So, now will that, will he know? No. Who sent it? He'll know the account number, but it's anonymous. Unless he looks on the sheet, if he looks on the collab sheet, he'll, you know, I mean, so it, he'll have to look at his account and see what happens. Now, there are services that will watch your account and send you an email. But otherwise, you have to look yourself. You have to go to EtherScan and look at your account. And you say, oh, somebody sent me money. <laughs> Do I know who that is? And now there's a, you know, I use the Parity Wallet, and that has a really nice directory of people's names and accounts. But because of other problems with that wallet, I don't recommend you use it yet. But it's the kind of, you know, it's a much, you know, it's a, it's, it has a lot more functionality than MetaMask. It doesn't have the convenience of uh, MetaMask, really, although it almost does. It has a, it has a browser plug-in also. Uh, but in theory, in theory, a person receiving money could find out who sent it to them? No. Or no. No. That's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, since everything is recorded on a public blockchain, eventually it could be deduced. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know, unless all the the accounts that inter interact, you don't and nobody knows who they are. Right. Um, but, you know, it's like if I receive stolen coins, then everybody starts watching my account. And uh, uh, anybody who receives those coins, whoever they send money to, you know, if we know who they are, they get warned that they receive, that, that, you know, somebody sent them stolen Stolen rock or whatever, and then we can, then maybe we can uh, prosecute the guy that sent the bad rock or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and now what? What's next? Well, um, uh, well, we, uh, we have success. We completed our task. Uh, uh, we, we, uh, uh, you're, uh, uh, part of the collab, um, and, uh, we have a, uh, uh, a video in the can that we can share with someone who wants to get started using rock. Cool. So. Thank you me participate <laughs> thank you for for being our guinea pig today <laughs> um, is there anything else uh, uh, any questions or other things uh, that we should discuss uh, maybe uh, I'll end the recording now thanks again thank you